bits of making this and that as we go along <laughs> um, it's been a journey I have applied for an extension for this subject because I had uh, the the needle I had the needle on on Monday which was the bilateral nerve block and oh boy was the <laughs> ow is the only way to describe it um, I was high as fuck on Monday, couldn't do a thing. I have had three surgeries. I have had 36 hours of labor, uh, uh, followed by an emergency C-section. Uh, I have had gallstones, which apparently is one of the most painful things you can ever have. I would take the gallstones again over a nerve block on both sides. I, um had a genuine trauma response to the nerve block you have to be completely still you can't move and i tried my hardest not to move and i'm trying not to cry because i know that that would and i'm trying not to scream stop as well um <laughs> because i know that we're here and we got to get it done and if that if i move they're gonna have to do another ct scan and we're gonna be here longer and it's gonna hurt even more so <laughs> I cried in the elevator, I cried all the way down. Yeah, trying to pay for that privilege of being hurt. Um, holding my breath so that I didn't cry <laughs> whilst paying the man. Um, I cried in the elevator, I cried all the way to the car. I cried in the car for about 20 minutes with my husband staring at me like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> um, I took a fistful of drugs whilst eating some Maccas because uh, endone makes me pukey on an empty stomach. And of course I went into this with an empty stomach because I'm a complete fucking idiot. <laughs> anyway, I digress. Where are we at? Okay, it's Saturday. This, this project's due in tomorrow. <laughs> um, I'll show you a... Um, this is a montage of the making of this, there's a few pictures, there's a few stills, there's a few little bit of sped up here and there of me pattern cutting because 90% of what I've been doing over the last week and a half is pattern cutting. <laughs>
Minor update. Okay. Uh, we have three dresses have finished, and obviously Susan's got the old apron over there. Um, you see that hat? That hat is going to be Chanel's hat in that picture. Something's just falling on the floor. I hope it's nothing I need because I can't pick it up right now. Um, okay. So, <laughs> over here, I have a wig that is pinned to look like what they call a pompadour hairdo, which is the hairdo that both Chanel and the maid have kind of, um, for the purposes of this, they do. And this one, this is why I had not using my camera stand because there's a fucking wig on it. It's a long dark one, which hopefully I'll be able to do uh, Audrey Hepburn's hair with because I don't, I, I don't have enough hair, fam. I just, I just don't have enough hair. <laughs> I tried. I tried really hard. I tried with all these, look, this, I have this, I have this to do it. Won't happen. Doesn't happen in my hair. Okay, so we've got these little buttony things to make jewellery pieces with. Have some long gloves. Have some more rhinestones. We have miles and miles of pearls. To make more of that with, we have some more chambric lace or cambric lace, I don't know, to make the little frilly hat. Can you chill? Thanks. <clears throat> also for her, she has like all the freaking, like all the pearls in the world around her neck. And it's all pinned together with like one massive like brooch type thing. And I couldn't find any, but I did find this cop badge, and I thought, well, we'll stick some shit on it. <laughs> we've got these that we can stick on it, we've got these that we can stick on we'll, we'll stick some shit on it, and, uh, make it work. We're gonna, Tim gun it. We're gonna make it work. We're making it work. We've got some sunglasses. We just need to make some big feathers, because, uh, apparently you can't buy big feathers anymore. And, um some cuffs uh, uh, white cuffs and 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 then we're done i think we're we're done with what we need to make we just need to take the pictures which means i need to be able to stand upright without holding on <laughs> because uh I, i'm holding on to literally everything today the only thing that i have not thought through yet is diana's hair it's pretty much the same color as mine but um it's quite a lot shorter so yeah oh and also she has a bag and i don't know what the fuck to do with that like i don't have a black bag i have many bags oh, oh i do have a black bag hold hold the phone hold the phone we'll just uh I'm gonna Photoshop out the Alice in Wonderland part. Fucking A. And what I decided was that instead of wearing one of their dresses as my picture, I would wear my own black dress, which I forgot I even freaking had. I actually have two. One is very ugly, so we're not going with that one, but I have my very own black dress. That I can wear in my own picture. <laughs> this one. Perfect. Yes, it's still got the tag on because I haven't actually ever worn it. Because <laughs> I've never had an occasion to wear a black dress. Yeah. Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, I want to take a couple of pictures today, but whether I'm going to be able to or not is another story because on Monday I had the uh, bilateral back injection thing in my nerves for you know obviously my slip disc i don't know if you've heard but i've got a slip disc <laughs> yeah <laughs> so um i had that and today i'm having problems with my balance um anywhere i try and walk the wall is my friend and we seem to be best friends everywhere i go so i don't know about this standing upright business <laughs> but we'll get there we're, we're gonna Day 
fingers crossed if my back doesn't go completely luly, I'm going to try and get the first two pictures done, which is Maid and Coco Chanel. Because they share a dress. Let me let me grab it. Look, it's black and stretchy. It's got long sleeves and it's actually kind of a uh, what are we what are we calling this a bat wing sleeve I don't know but that's exactly how it was in Chanel's picture she belts it um, I don't know if I'll bother doing that we'll just probably fold it over a little bit in the picture but anyway we've got a hat because she was fancy she was a little bit more on the fancy side in her picture she had like a full-on chapeau kind of thing going on she didn't have that cloche thing that the rest of the ladies were in 1920 so she was like nah 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 fam i've got more style than that <laughs> um okay so we've got our dress and susan where's susan come on susan best foot forward oh shit <laughs> best foot forward susan come on now um yeah so here's our little Maids, sorry, the camp. I've, I've got you really close because there's so much shit on my desk. Ah, uh, there we go. Uh, the, the, we got the maids, the little hat doohickey, and yes, you can see clips because you want to see my genius. <laughs> you want to see my genius, don't you? Okay, so you know, Audrey has that big fuck off clip in her hair. I don't know if it's a clip or whatever it is. But she's got like a, a thing going on around her massive beehive bullshit, right? So I bought this because I couldn't find anything else. <laughs> yes, it's a kid's Cinderella tiara, okay? <laughs> it even has a tiny shoe. Um, I figured what we'd do is, for the maid, we'll do this. Where? Later on. We'll do this with a lot of bling on for Audrey. And as we can see on Susan, my beautiful assistant, I have made also this ruffle collar thing with her pearl bit of bling. This is pearls, just pretend that this is pearls. <laughs> because actually, I also have, this is what I was making while I was sew sewing this <laughs> onto paper last night whilst I was out of my mind on diazepam and even diazepam me went this would be faster with the sewing machine so I put it down and had a nap and did it this morning <laughs> even me fucked up on a lot of drugs and knew that I could sew this fast with the sewing machine I put everything down and uh, was like okay I'm gonna go to bed now. I don't know what, what way up did I have this? I can't remember, was it this way? I'm gonna have to look back at footage of how which way up I had this because I can't remember. <laughs> um, good game, Alison, good game. Can't remember, anyway, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out before we take picture. Anyway, Susan has a beautiful ruffle um, and uh, it's really difficult to figure out how a collar would be shaped. Obviously, it's a semicircle. <laughs> now, in the cold light of day, I tell you, it's a semicircle. When you're high on diazepam, you can't clue what shape a <laughs> collar is. So, I'll take this off so you can see. <laughs> I cut a straight piece of fabric. I don't know if you can see it on the back there. I cut a straight piece of fabric and then I went. That doesn't work. What shape is it supposed to be? And I cut a curve into it because I'm not completely mental. But there's the little thing. That's our sign of the time. Or, or one of our things. I can't remember the thing. You know, the thing that we're carrying through each picture, including the black dress. That and that. And her... What am I dropping? Obviously her sign of the times is literally all of this freaking outfit, the frills, the apron, the whole lot. Um, yeah, so I'm going to try and do that today. What else are we doing? Oh, once that picture is taken, we need to take this off. 
and the cuffs, which this is one of the cuffs, uh, it, they, she's got long cuffs the maid, so we've made them quite we <laughs> the royal we. I have made them quite long to sit on her on top of her dress, or probably not quite on top of her dress. Um, but Chanel also has them, so I've made it so that you can fold it in half. Put one of these clips on because she has some sort of clip in the picture anyway, so I'm gonna do that and bang one of those on each side. Aren't I small? Yes, yes I am, that's the answer you're looking for. Okay, uh, the only thing I haven't made so far, which I've completely forgotten about, is Chanel's long big feather things, which <sighs> I suppose I better do that. Okay, I'm gonna get on, get on with it, see if we can get these pictures done today. The light is not our friend, and also my ring light that I normally have in here, which is why it's so dark, is currently in the kitchen because the kitchen light went out and we need an electrician to change it. So I'm making coffee by ring light <laughs> at the moment. It's all happening. It's all happening today and the rest of the week. It's just been one thing after another. Anyway. Oh yeah, also the hair. I think in part of one of my you know little clips where I'm making stuff I show you there's a wig over there which I'm pointing at sitting on a mirror don't dare touch it that looks like it's in the pompadour hairstyle you know where it's kind of like that the side now I have a feeling I have put so many clips in it that it will not actually fit on my head anymore so I am going to do my best to try and do it to my own hair and see if we can do it if we can't do it, we can't do it. If we can, we can. Um, I have a lot of mousse and a lot of hairspray, so fingers crossed. The pompadour style of dressing the hair depends entirely for its success on the skill shown by the wearer in adopting the pompadour role to her own type of beauty. I can safely say that I failed. But anyway, <laughs> that's uh, an excerpt from Every Woman's Encyclopedia, 1910 to 1912. I shall link it in the comments.